we've been talking about seizing the moment recently here on the show. You know, I love to sing, even though I am not very good at it, but I've always dreamed of singing back up in a live concert. I've known Jimmy Buffett for many years now. He is the greatest guy. So when he heard about my fantasy, he was willing, if not all that happy, to oblige. So take a look. All right, an all-access pass. I am such a rock star. It seemed like a good idea at the time, globetrotting as an official member of Jimmy Buffett's Coral Reefer Band. Where's my picture? Can you believe it? Jackson Brown, I mean, come on. My rock and roll fantasy began this past spring when I first pitched the idea to the multi-platinum selling singer. What song should I be working on, Jimmy? You should work on the songs that are in your range, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> well, that limits it to very few. At Buffett's behest, I took in a show and learned the tricks of the trade from the real referrets, Nadira Shakur and Tina Gullickson. Now you want to loosen up your hips? I don't know about that. <laughs> That's great. Then it was on to the backstage boutique. Wardrobe! Of Helen Hyatt. Hi, Hi, Helen. Costume designer. Okay. I work with Cher and Janet Jackson. And resident name dropper. Well, that makes me a little bit nervous about a potential wardrobe malfunction. Uh, I wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> on my watch. No coconut bra? If you're dying for No, I'm not. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> so that's a pretty fabulous bra. <laughs> okay. Brrr. Now it was off to study the songs. Jimmy sent me home with videos to fine tune my technique. I honed in on my hula. I have to have a lot of tequila. <laughs> and labored over those really deep lyrics. Na, 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 na. All to the utter disdain of my teenage daughter. I am going to be a backup singer for Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> Kids. Finally, my day had come. The venue, the Klipsch Music Center in Indianapolis. Seating capacity, 24,000. We're in Indianapolis and this is a good luck place because we did, when we did the Alan Jackson video, we did it with Alan here. This is a great crowd. Well, I'm sort of on, on par with Alan Jackson, don't you think? My talent level? Much better dancer. <laughs> The three o'clock sound check, as it's known at a gig, would be my one and only chance to rehearse with the band, to figure out minor things like when to come in, I don't, oh, well, what not yet. and more importantly, when not to. <laughs> Meanwhile, rumors about a surprise guest began to swirl among the parrot heads in the parking lot. Alan Jackson! Katie Parrot! Diana Ross! Think maybe they'll be too drunk to notice? Elvis. Speaking of alcohol, with only minutes till my stage debut, my influence was rubbing off on my fellow referrets. Party on, sisters. <laughs> well, it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> then, at 8 p.m. It's showtime. Come on, girls. We have a special guest, uh, referent number three, kind of come out here, please. Oh, that would be Katie Couric over there, wouldn't it, huh? She's going to sing and dance her way right into your little half-sober hearts out there right now. After a few initial moments of stage fright, I settled in. And for the first time as a trio, the Reeferettes delivered rousing renditions of coral reef classics like Volcano. Cheeseburger in Paradise. And the staple of Jimmy Buffett's set list, Margaritaville. Some people claim that there's a Thank you, Miss Katie. 
With one show under my belt, I began to fantasize about going on the road. How would you rate me? I, I thought you had the chops of a pro. You want me to come on the rest of the tour? Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that tomorrow, okay? Right here, Jay. <laughs> Guess I shouldn't quit my day job. Bye, see you in the next city. Bye. A huge thank you to Jimmy. Of course, everyone on his crew and the wonderful Referettes. Meanwhile, thanks so much for watching today. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time.